Cinderella champion, it was these men in silver and black. Their quarterback, Jim Plunkett, had salvaged a wrecked career to become the NFL's comeback player of the year. And in only his second season, head coach Tom Flores directed a team with 14 new players through the wild card playoffs and into the Super Bowl. Shrewdly built by owner Al Davis, Oakland reflected the cool, professional attitude of a team accustomed to meaningful games. This was all new to the NFC champion Philadelphia Eagles, since Dick Vermeil had molded a winner out of a former loser. Because their personality mirrored his discipline and determination, these Eagles were often given more credit for being hard workers than good football players. However, in November, these tough Eagles had beaten the Raiders 10 to 7, mainly by sacking Jim Puckett eight times. It was here, in one of the season's most physical encounters, the initial battle lines were drawn for Super Bowl XV. Third play, First deck, Dick Vermeil six. called... Right, double, double, base pass, 46, 47, check with me. Dick. For Vermeil and his coaching staff in the press box above, yeah. it proved to be a play-action pass that they immediately regretted. Play fake, back is Jaworski with time to throw. He's got Spag. Kills one, intercepted, caught Martin. Oh, run No. Throw it right to him. Hey, yeah, he went cover six and the linebacker came off. Rod Martin, who was once cut by the Raiders, made the first big takeaway of the game from his outside linebacker position. Instead of lofting the ball over Martin, Jaworski fired hard and low, aiming for a seam in the Raiders' own that turned out to be a mirage. Martin's interception proved to be a harbinger of bad times for the Eagles. Third and goal on the two. Puckett drops back to pass. Steps up. He looks. Over the middle. He's got it. Touchdown, Raiders! It's caught by Foot Branch. A two-yard touchdown pass. Puckett threw it almost like a dart. Only quick thinking by Jim Plunkett saved the touchdown. His step up forced linebacker Frank LeMaster to commit forward, creating a crease just big enough for a dart. The Raiders struck first, but on Philadelphia's third possession, the Eagle offense finally took wing. Back to pass, now goes Jaworski. Looking, being chased out of the pocket of the right. He's got running room, directing play, going deep. A bomb to the end zone. It is a touchdown. He got it. Touchdown. Oh, we got a penalty. Oh, we got a flag. Who's the penalty on? Dang, gone rotten touchdown call back. Was that on Harold Dick? Wide receiver Harold Carmichael had drawn an illegal motion penalty canceling Philadelphia's chance to tie the score. This play left the Eagles in a state of shock from which they never seemed to recover. For the Raiders, on the other hand, an unusual reversal of Murphy's Law began as everything that could go right did go right. Drop back. Here comes the rush. Steps up. Can't find anybody yet. Tits off running to the left. Rolls on the move. And it's caught by King at the 40. King takes over the 50. Here's the 
The pass covered 80 yards. A Super Bowl record. Touchdown Raiders! And Puckett opens up the bag of tricks. Puckett on a third down play that time. Got good blocking, couldn't find the receivers. Skidded around to get open, and when Herm Edwards gambled, he came up snake-eyed. Battles between evenly matched teams are seldom won without taking some risks. Philadelphia blitzed one linebacker and crossed their nose guard and end in an attempt to pressure the supposedly immobile quarterback. But it was good secondary coverage that finally flushed Plunkett from his pass pocket where he gambled with a soft toss just above the reach of Eagle cornerback Herman Edwards. Alert and opportunistic, the Raiders led 14 to nothing as the second quarter began. We're moving the ball well, just we've given them a couple things. We just keep our heads and everything is fine as far as their game plan, nothing mattered at all. But not all was well with the Eagle game plan. Oakland's nose guard, Reggie Kinlaw, number 62, was personally shutting down Philadelphia's prize running attack. Come on! Where the hell is the nose guard coming from? Kinlaw's been uh, paying her so far. Kinlaw proved to be one persistent lighthouse around which the storming chaos of the Raider defense revolved. Pursuit by Kinlaw and the Oakland linebackers completely took away the cutback running of Wilbert Montgomery and left the Eagles with only 69 yards rushing on the day. Unable to go through the Raiders' defense, Philadelphia was forced to go over it. Midway through the second period, a series of Jaworski completions set up Philadelphia's first points of the day. A 30-yard field goal by Tony Franklin. At last, the Eagles had reason to hope. They're playing like we would like them to play to beat them. They really are, coverage-wise and, and everything else. Yeah. We'll get these guys. The big thing is, we're, we're all looking a little bit tight, and they look exhausted already because of nerves. And we got to get them to relax a little bit. Here's Franklin advancing on the football. Up Driving to this point, Philadelphia had ball. seemed tense, even apprehensive. Moody back takes it on the one-yard line. Out to the five, the ten, straight ahead, 15. He has hit a ton of fumbles, followed on by Rod Martin. The Raiders have it. What a belt that time. Well, the Raiders get the football after a tremendous lick. Ron Baker's hit was nearly the jolt the Eagles needed. But as would be the case all day, the drowsy Eagles were a step behind the wide awake race. Oakland was embracing its opportunities. Philadelphia was not. But while the Eagles were not playing their best, behind almost every missed opportunity, there was a hustling race. However, Philadelphia's worst wound was self-inflicted with 58 seconds remaining in the half. Third down, quick release, goes to the end zone, over it, oh, and a little quick time there. Oh, Ron, perfect call. Good break for the Raiders as Parker really got out of the box that time and had McKinney beat. On fourth down, Eagle fortunes went from bad to worse. Snap, spot, kick on the way, it is blocked! It's scooped up by Willie Jones, he drops it at the 20, he goes back to pick it up, he's there, he fumbles again, it's on the bounce, it's on the carpet, it's a wild melee, the Raiders have the football. Holy Toledo! 
No player in the history of pro football has blocked more kicks than Oakland's Ted Hendricks, number 83. However, none was more important than this one, for it confirmed that Oakland was winning pro football's world championship in the most convincing fashion possible.